obvious first place to go here on the receivers. How much of an impact should we expect Amari Cooper to make? You know, uh, people are going to sit here and say I'm crazy, but I think that the Amari Cooper impact in Buffalo will be a bigger impact than Devontae Adams with the New York Jets. You're crazy. The reason, <laughs> and the reason, and the reason why I say it is because of the young receiving core. When you sit up there looking at the Jets, Devontae Adams, you got Garrett Wilson, keeping him happy. How many targets will come his way? Well, let's flip it to the Buffalo Bills, getting a guy like Amari Cooper. Now they got a guy that can take the ball deep and beat man coverage. So what is that going to do? This young receiver core with Holland, Shakir, Coleman, it's going to open it up for the whole offense. We already know what Cook and Josh Allen brings to the table for this offense, but now you're going to get everybody. Else Nelson Ball. So this Amari Cooper, one thing that I heard this week about the Bills player talking about when they defended him, they hated, they hated to defend him. So one thing about it, Josh Allen loves to throw the ball deep. Well, now he got a guy that can catch the ball deep. And Amari Cooper, I like this pitch. Just how can this coach and staff make it seem seamless, really? Because that's where I think they are in New York. I mean, that's that. I think that can look se seamless with Aaron and Devontae on a lot, on a good percentage of the plays. All right, wh 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 what packages is Amari in? What routes is he running? I mean, how comfortable is he? And now, the. <laughs> Shift in mentality that Amari Cooper oh must God. have oh is, is, is you can't you just can't <laughs> oh under, Rex, you can't understate this nope. when I'm going from the Cleveland Browns <laughs> to the Buffalo yeah. Bills. I mean, as a player, think of this though. I mean, his entire career, this is the best quarterback he's ever had, hands down, ever had. Yeah. And so, Amari Cooper, I'm expecting huge things out of this one. I, I really am. He, this is his fourth team. He played with Dak Prescott, obviously, and Dak is a really good player. But yeah, Josh Allen, I think it's reasonable to say, is the best quarterback he's ever had. And he had a yeah. transition. He had a transition like this when he was traded from the Raiders to the Cowboys in the middle of the season, had to go into Dallas. Dallas got him in and was surprised pleasantly at how quick he was to pick up things, how savvy he was. And Buffalo has felt the same way this week, which is why he'll be out there. I don't think he's going to play as much as Devontae Adams, who's all in tonight. But I think Amari Cooper is going to be playing a decent amount out there and making plays today for the Buffalo Bills. Well, you know, you talk about playing and, and, and you sit up there and talk about acquiring a guy with short period of time to get ready for a football game. So where do, do I expect as a wide receiver to see a guy like Devontae and now we're sitting here talking about Amari Cooper, the backside, the X. We, we mm -hmm. always hear talk about the backside, the single receiver. And the reason okay. why you're the single receiver because – most of the time at the end of a play, you could be tagged with a slant, a post route, or whatnot. But at the same time, the quarterback can signal you also. If you're a part of the combination route, that's where things get a little sophisticated for the offense, the play calling, mm. the time clock even. So tonight, in Pittsburgh, even with the Buffalo Bills uh, with Amari Cooper, I expect to see both of them guys, X receiver, because the quarterback can signal them or tag them in the Man, play. Man, it's so smart because you're right. You That's put them at that it. X, you right play there. that single high. Yes. That ball is going there. Yes, it is. It's yeah, X yeah. individual. <laughs> and I mean, it's coming there. But if you And then if you play with two, now it's going the other side. And, and you're right, Moss. That, that's a great Can point. I tell you something, by the way? So you're saying to yourself, Josh Allen and Amari Cooper, they never played together, right? So how is it possible that Amari Cooper has actually caught a pass in a game from Josh Allen? We'll take a look oh, yeah. at this flashback. We're going back a few years. This is 2022. That's Josh Allen. He's flushed out of the pocket. Moss, look at the catch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. On the side oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, they have chemistry. They had him at X and ran him on a deep out. But, real, but realistically, in all honesty, I do expect to see some <laughs> magic being made with Amari Cooper. When do you put him out there? Who knows? But where do I expect him? The backside as the single receiver fans. Of course, look man. for that today. By the way, if you notice, this game was played in Detroit. So it's like a Mad Libs. Amari uh, Cooper caught a pass from Josh Allen in a game that was being played in Detroit, even though neither team was the Detroit Lions. And so we'll see what kind of, again, we'll see how quickly they're able to create a chemistry, to yes. your point, and how much of an impact it has as the season goes on in a game in which they will face Mason Rudolph, who will be playing in place of, um, in place of Will Levis. Kid, you know, you're talking about that X factor, so to speak, those guys playing yeah. the X. Well, let's talk about the Rex factor now. <laughs> Presented by ESPN <laughs> Bet. I mean, exactly. ESPN Bet's doing the Rex factors, and my goodness, why wouldn't you? Today, Matthew Stafford, the number 224 and a half. They're playing the Aiders. I think it's going to go over. Why? The Rams throw it. It doesn't matter if Henry Ellard's out there. It doesn't <laughs> matter. They're going to throw it all over the place. So go ahead. I'm going to take the over on that one. 
Jane Daniels against Carolina. The number's 249 and a half. Are you kidding me? You, I always say I could throw for 220 against Carolina, but no. Oh! I think he's going under this number, and the reason for it, they're going to be able to run the football more. So taking the under with Jane Daniels. Kirk Cousins, under two. Yeah, you're being very generous by saying they're pretty banged up. They're down four or five starters on the defensive side of the ball. They have injuries in the secondary. They have injuries in the linebacker group. Mario Edwards, who's one of their defensive linemen, is suspended. Uh, so they are banged up on defense. There's no doubt about that. Going to be a major challenge for them this week against Jordan Love. They still have their edge rushers, Will Anderson and Daniil Hunter. They like those guys. And what the Texans defensive coaches that I was just talking to are telling their players this week is watch out for the Packers and Josh Jacobs on cutback runs because they don't feel like they're going to be able to get the edge on them. So they have to be really disciplined on the backside in terms of defending those cutback runs against Jacobs and the Packers running backs. So if they can do that, they feel like Jordan Love will take some shots downfield at some point, and a lot of times those shots are 50-50 balls, and, and Houston feels like if they can come away with one or two of those, that obviously will be to their significant advantage. As far as the Houston offense, we're still waiting to see uh, C.J. Stroud come out here, do his warm-up thing with tennis balls and all that stuff that he does, but uh, he is something that Houston feels like it can count on at this point. They want to extend drives, keep Jordan Love and those Packers receivers on the sidelines as much as possible. Uh, the Packers defensive coaches have warned their guys about Stroud's ability to move up in the pocket and continue to make good decisions even though he's on the move. So they want to be disciplined when they are rushing him. All right, Danny, thank Graz, you. Graz looks the hair. He looks good. good. No, I like uh, it. Dan, like were we expecting clean, wind man. today? You seem to have a little <laughs> extra Graz. Yes. <laughs> it's very windy. It yeah. is, but a little extra. Yeah. It looks good. <laughs> Brewski. Brewski yeah, tree. baby, you look good, Graz. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's going to stay in place. Very debonair Dan Graziano today. But let's go. So, so, so C.J. Stroud, right, the sensational sophomore season. Oh, and Jordan Love, who, of course, isn't in only his second year, but we sometimes think of him that way because it's really only the second year in which he is playing I'm looking right at you which of these two quarterbacks do you trust more today well today no because I was all set to say I trust CJ Stroud but, more than Jordan Love but but today I'll take Jordan Love you mentioned <laughs> all the thing all the injuries and stuff that Houston has especially yeah. you know I mean five starters on defense right you only have 11 starters like come on and <laughs> and here's the other thing too no Nico Collins for C.J. Stroud. He's shown uh, two games in a row he's had an interception. Not, yeah. not one time in his career has he gone three straight games with an interception. But today, Green Bay turns the ball over on defense more than anybody. They take it away more than anybody. So today, I hate to say it, that I have love for Jordan Love, which I usually <laughs> don't. I, I'm, and, I, and, I, and, you know, I, I've light. been a fan of Jordan Love too, but you, Graz talked about the decision making by C.J. Stroud that the Packers have really talked about, and I got a cap card right here. I don't read them too often, yeah. but this is this is mind blowing to me in terms of C.J. Stroud's decision making in the red area. They got a touchdown on 75%. 75% of red zone, red zone drives. That's, that's tied for the Ravens for first in the NFL. Stroud has eight touchdowns, zero interceptions to six different players with a 99.5 QBR. 100 is perfect. Can I change back to C.J. Stroud today? Cap told me about this, and I'm like, is that even possible? That is beyond. This kid has gone astronomical in terms of the decision making. Those six different receivers in the red area, three wide receivers, three running backs. He, he's, he, man, he can't show anymore that they've got a franchise quarterback that can win championships. But today, though, without, without Nico Collins, though, without Nico Collins against this Packer defense that feasts on turnovers and rushing the passer. It's a, Man, yeah. you know, when, in Green Bay. When you, when you sit up here and wonder how the Texans are going to do it, that's a great stat in the red zone. It's, it's unbelievable. It's crazy but you really have to give some credit to a guy like Joe Mixon. And I love what, watching and him what play. he has brought Man. to this offense, not just it's in true. the field, but in the red zone, and what he can do coming out of the backfield. So, yes, they are absent a guy like Nico Collins, but Joe Mixon has stepped up. Then on the other side, can't forget about Josh Jacobs. Yeah. You know, being yeah. able to have a solid running game today is really what I want to see come from either team because you have two dynamic running backs in Mixon and, uh, and Josh Jacobs. I want to see who has who's going to fare uh, in the running game. The you Packers, know, go ahead. Uh, the Packers – 
they sign good players and they have good coaches and they draft good players. And, and every year it's like, who is this kid that's playing this rookie? Evan Williams at safety is playing out of his mind. And then McKinney, who they brought in, is also, is also I mean, he's got five interceptions. That's the ball the league. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's I mean the ball it's hole. like the Packers just do it right. All right. And this is a great young football team. It's going to be a great game. With two dynamic young quarterbacks, and again, Green Bay is a slim favorite, two and a half points. Xin chào tất cả mọi người đã quay trở lại với kênh của mình nha. Ngày hôm nay mình sẽ tiếp tục hướng dẫn các bạn là vòng tay và vòng tay hôm nay của mình sẽ có từ con nhím. À, nhím con. Bây giờ mình sẽ bắt đầu làm nhé mọi người. Xin chào tất cả mọi người đã quay trở lại với kênh của mình. Ngày hôm nay mình sẽ tiếp tục hướng dẫn các bạn là vòng tay và vòng tay hôm nay của mình sẽ có từ nhím bố. Bây giờ mình sẽ bắt đầu làm nha. Các bạn ơi, bây giờ mình sẽ hướng dẫn các bạn làm vòng tay nhá. Và vòng tay hôm nay của mình sẽ có từ nhím mẹ. Bây giờ mình sẽ bắt đầu làm nha. Đầu tiên là mình sẽ xỏ màu xanh nha. Mọi người ơi, đây là phần màu xanh của mình nhá. Phần màu xanh đầu tiên của mình nhá mọi người. Mọi người đây là phần đầu tiên của mình. Tiếp theo là mình sẽ xỏ màu Mình xỏ màu vàng nha. màu đỏ nhé mọi người. Bây giờ mình sẽ tiếp tục sổ màu đỏ nha. Bây giờ mình sẽ sổ màu đỏ nhé mọi người. Mọi người ơi, đây ba màu của mình nha. Ba màu của mình đây nha mọi người. Mọi người ơi, đây là ba màu của mình. Tiếp theo là mình sẽ xỏ màu cam. Con mấy anh chị yêu được. Được thế nha. Lại con cười như thế. Chân thì chân. Tuy nhiên này chắc không có thật ở ngoài đâu. Mọi người đây là năm màu của mình nha. Bây giờ mình sẽ xỏ trang trí hạt sao nha. Các bạn ơi, đây là năm màu của mình, năm màu của mình đã hoàn thành. Thì giờ mình sẽ bắt đầu, à, mình sẽ tiếp tục trang trí hạt sao vào nha. Giờ mình sẽ trang trí hạt sao vào chiếc vòng của mình nhé mọi người.
biết được ừ đây bác trưởng đầu chọc cái lúc phòng của mình sắp hoàn thành rồi nha mọi người ơi và mình buộc hai đầu lại với nhau nha đây là trang là đang đăng nhập vào để một kênh à, anh hùng Mình nghe con nhìn đi em sợ quá đấy Nhìn anh Hùng hay là ba mà nhìn nhỏ nhỉ? Yeah. Nhỏ Nhỏ người ấy Nhìn nhỏ người ấy Xin chào các nhé, chân người chị kia tụi mỏi Chị cho mày biết một khái niệm là mấy cái thằng người nhỏ nhỏ hay rất là hay sống khốn nạn trong chuyện tình cảm <cười> chị nói hơi đúng thằng bạn em đấy chị thấy thế mà chị thấy đa phần luôn nhưng mà sao thì nhỏ thức nhau <cười> nhìn nó cứ trí thức nữ mà trí thức thật cơ nhưng mà nó rất là đều cái thằng lần trước chị chơi nó thủ khoa trường mình ấy thủ khoa văn trường mình ấy đợt vừa rồi ấy sống đều sống bẩn Các bạn ơi đây nha, vòng của mình hoàn thành người này Video của mình đến đây là kết thúc Nếu các bạn thích thì cho mình xin một like, một chia sẻ và đăng ký kênh nhé Mọi người ơi đây là vòng của mình, vòng của mình đã hoàn thành nha Video của mình đến đây là kết thúc Nếu các bạn thích thì cho mình xin một like, một chia sẻ và đăng ký kênh nha Các bạn ơi nhìn này, đây là vòng của mình đã hoàn thành Video của mình đến đây là kết thúc thôi Nếu các bạn thích thì cho mình xin một like, một chia sẻ và đăng ký kênh nhé Giờ bác đi làm à? Ừ. bác đi làm chưa này đến đêm về ừ,